Hello everyone, my name is Mr. DJ Sock Puppet and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy Vs. Um, I tried to record this episode a couple minutes earlier, but I had some computer issues and uh, it didn't go so well. Luckily, I hadn't gotten any stars yet when uh, everything went wrong, so we, we just start all over. Everything is fine. So what I was doing last time was I was going into Ghostly Galaxy and I think that is what we're going to do this time. Alright, so let's, let's go back into here. So, in this particular galaxy, we have two more main missions, a hidden star and a comet star. I'm going to leave the comet star alone for now, because that one is not the easiest thing in the world, and I just want to deal with that a bit later, if I can. Right now, I'm going to focus on the task at hand, which is this particular mission, which is just a race with a boo to get a star. And it's not really that hard. So, let's get to that. Okay, just make our way over here. Use the pull stars. You need to be really good with pull stars if you want to do well on this. Or not. Basically, you just don't have to be bad on them. Because it's it's not a hard star, anyway. Getting tons of star bits here. Alright, what do you have to say, Mr. Boo? Yes, I am after it, too. I'll race you for it, if that's the only way. Here we go! Alright. So, let's just grab our way out to the pole stars. And all we have to do is be the first one to get to the star. And the loser has to die. That's pretty much what happens. Except Boo's already a ghost, so he doesn't have to die. All right. Make our way along the meat here. That's what it looks like. I'm guessing that's what this is. Doesn't really make sense why it's like that. That's just what it is. Can't complain. Take the star, it's a tremendous shortcut. Just make sure you grab onto this, or you might kill yourself. Don't be wanting that. Especially not in a race. Okay, so try to navigate your way through the spikes here. Getting hit is not a big deal. And... Here. And we won. By a long shot. Yeah, you did promise, so give it to me. Oh, so apparently he already had us, so he was cheating the whole time. But his guilt got the better of him, and he gave it to us in the end. Go on, take it. I will. You got a star! Our total is now up to 32. We added a new chapter to the storybook, which we're not here to read, we're here to play games. Now we're gonna head on back to Ghostly Galaxy and take on the other main star that is located here. And that is Beware of Bouldergeist. People who've played either this game or uh, Galaxy 2. They probably know who this guy is, and know that he is not a friend to you, or anyone. He is quite possibly one of the most frustrating characters in both games to defeat. And just when they give you a regular boss battle in, in both games, they make you do it again, and with, with a different twist. You're not going to see what that is yet, because that's the comet star for this galaxy. And like I said, I want to save that for later, just because of how not so easy it can be at times. Alright, so we need to get a black boo. Just lead him over here. When he gets close to the statue, do it. Spin. He'll break the box. And we can now get into this launch star. And I need a coin. These spiders can be frustrating sometimes. I'll just take that. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hang on. Right. Computer went down. Had to fix it for a second. Whoa, that's not what I wanted at all. There, there we go. Into the Lost Star. And on to this other side here. Not sure how well you can hear the music, but it's pretty good, I think. Just get these boos out of the way makes things ten times more easier. Or also just get all up in your face. It just makes things a lot more difficult. But that goes without saying. And I got two at once, somehow. But I'm not going to question it. So now just go up here. Get the last starship. And drag our way on through here. And that's it. Okay, no, maybe it's not it. Not quite yet. We got on this little bouncy planet. The launch star is over here. Just need to go up and long jump over to it, maybe? Yep. That was not hard. Alright, now we have the boss battle. I'm gonna ignore the Luma Shop, because... It's not that hard. The regular boss fight isn't. The Comet boss fight, on the other hand, uh, you all see that later. Alright, so this is Bouldergeist. He's gonna pick up some rocks. You'll notice some of them are gray, some of them are black, some of them are yellow. The yellow ones contain coins so you can refill your health if you lose some. The gray ones are just regular old rocks that'll hurt you. And the black ones are black booze that you use to swing at. That you use to swing at him. I've hit him twice, need to hit him one more time. Yeah, it's kinda weird, even the coin blocks can hurt you. Alright, if you hit him three times, he turns into this, and he kinda drips black booze, ev black booze everywhere, and you have to hit him once more with his tongue. Although, I was waiting too long, trying to explain it, and uh, we missed our chance. There we go. And when you do that, he enters his second phase, in which he goes back to normal and grows hands. And this makes everything just so much harder than it needs to be. This gives him more ways to hurt you. So let's wait for him to get his stuff out. He got two black boos. Let's see if we can't use them both. I'll just use the one for now. Ow. This is excellent. Alright, we only got him once, but that's better than nothing. I didn't want to hit his hand. You think hitting his hand would actually be helpful because that would get them out of the way? But eventually they grow back. So it doesn't really do much for you. So I'm just gonna wait it out here. Huh, huh. Just gonna go one at a time here. Awesome. Alright, so now we just have to hit him one more time the same way we did before. Come here. Don't be shy. There we go. And that does it for Bouldergeist. But don't worry, we'll be seeing him again later. And I say later because I choose not to do it right now. You got a star! Our total is now up to 33. Don't want to save our game. Right. Go back in here. Back to Ghostly Galaxy. And this little question mark is telling us there's a secret star in here. I wonder where it could be. It's actually not that hard to find. They almost give it to you. It's a huge clue. And you'll see it in a minute, right after we go to the Toad Ship. 
because that's what we always do. Okay, you'll notice this rock here is sparkling. Let's go and get this just for fun. Then head on up here, spin, and look, it's a star that we couldn't see before. Whoa! Rainbow Mario is awesome. So, yeah, this is basically the secret level right here. Hope I don't fall off. Uh, good. Oh, no, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, I can deal with that. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see the way Mario was frozen? That was funny. It was... That was interesting. I was expecting it to go right. Whatever. We can deal with one death. Get the key once again. Jump on over there. Don't get hit by the fire this time. Hit the coin. Go this way. Oh, we could oh we're going up. Alright. That's what's going on. Try to get Mr. Boo to stop following us. Just staring at him whenever we can. You can hear the star sparkle from here. Get as much of that as we can just because. Go along this line. And here's some stairs. Whoa. Don't even think about it. Up, oh, up, up, up. So now we're in this big room. This unlocks the door. And what do you think this is gonna do? Exactly. It's gonna make things disappear and appear, much like they did before. But it also brought star bits, so it was actually kind of helpful toward us. Kind of hit my head there, because there's a platform right above us. Okay, get the key here. Might as well get that one up, just because. Whoa! Huh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's hurry up, let's hurry up. The star's right here. Okay, I was worried the planet was going to disappear before I had the chance to get the star. But that's not the case, because we got a star! And that's going to be it for Ghostly Galaxy for now. I will head back there later. What I'm going to do next is not save my game. And then I'm going to go back... Oh dear lord. No, we're not doing that. We're gonna do this. We're gonna go ahead and do the main boss for the dome. Because it is much easier than what we have to do in Ghostly Galaxy. Sinking the airships. We're finding Bowser Jr. again. So let's go ahead and get this over with. Okay, if you look over if you look over here, there's a cannon. And that's probably what we're gonna wanna do. Go is go in it, because there's nothing else to do. So try to shoot right here. Go down here, up the stairs, avoid Kamak back into this cannon. That was a nice little triple jump. Too bad I couldn't do that earlier. Okay, let's ignore the bullet bills. Okay, don't worry about the Wigglers. Don't even worry about him, just go over here. I saw a Luma shop over there, but I don't need it. I'm gonna try not to use Luma shops, because they're not necessary. Unless I'm like desperately in need of a one-up or something, I might... Uh... Hmm. 
Well, where do I start? Okay, that's fine. Back here. I think turning that crank actually could have gotten me more star bits. I think what happened there was I got stuck on the lever. Luckily, they give you a one-up, so if you keep failing here, then you could just get that one-up and it essentially does no, no kind of damage towards you. Okay, so now we're over here. This is where the boss fight's gonna be. And look, it's Bowser Jr. and he has a flying ship. Little does he know, we have a flying ship also. And this is where we're gonna defeat him from. As he said, he has a grand star, but we're gonna take it from him. Take these shells, no, don't, don't throw them that way. You, I think you understand what we're supposed to do. Make sure you're facing, and make sure that you're not gonna throw it at the electricity, because that's not gonna do anything for you. Okay, so that's one. Eventually you throw these bullet bills at you, so be careful of them. Alright, to go up here, face the ship, throw the shell, and there you go. He sends Kamek over here to try to stop us. That's not going to do anything. So there's three hits. When that happens, he's going to face our direction with the Bowser head. He's going to shoot all of these. I don't even know what to call them. Cannons? Alright, so we hit the head once. I don't know if we have to hit this three times or not. I guess we'll find out. Alright then. Get that coin real quick. Oh, it's just twice? Alright, that works out. That works for me, I don't care. And what is that? <laughs> You got a grand star! Let us take that grand star back to the ship. And the core turns from green to blue. Thus putting another star on the floor and unlocking an all-new dome for us to explore. We now have 35 stars. We discovered a new galaxy. Or four new galaxies, apparently. Well, that's great. Um, excellent. Great. We'll get to that eventually. Yeah. Yes, we'll definitely get her at some point. Next! What I'm gonna do is head on over to the new dome we just unlocked, which is the bedroom. Because like the map says, we have four new galaxies to explore there, so why not go ahead on? Enemy base... Already? So, is that so I guess that means five new galaxies, technically. Yeah, we could do all of them. But we're going to start with the first one. The galaxy everyone loves, Gusty Garden Galaxy. For those of you who don't know, Gusty Garden Galaxy is very famous for its music. Probably one of the most famous pieces in the game. So... I'll try to not talk a lot so you all can hear it. They make a few comments every once in a while. All I have to do here is just ride these flowers onto the next planet and just keep going with that. Do it again. Tons of star bits. 
Oh yeah, try to make sure to stay in the path of the fan so you can go on and not like waste all your flower in the middle of the empty void of space. Whoa, 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 what? What was that? Well, uh, note to self, don't do that again. But now the music has to start all over, so, whatever. I seriously have no idea what happened there. It's like, it's like the game was trying to trap us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, whoa, whoa, no, no, go, go. That's one way to do it, I guess. Oh, there we go again. <laughs> it's the quick way to do things around here. Come here, little guy. Or big guy. Oh, I'm not supposed to be talking. Wait a minute. Yeah. The music didn't play long enough for you guys to hear the epic part. Oh well, well, we'll be coming back here later. Anyway, essentially what we have to do here is catch the bunny, just like the beginning of the game. Nothing new here. Uh, I'm falling behind. But, I remember the first episode where I couldn't catch the bunny. Now, once this episode's out, I'm gonna be like, Oh, I remember the episode where I couldn't catch the bunny the second time. And eventually, there's going to be a part where I will not be able to catch the bunny the third time, but you will see that later. I feel like there's got to be a strategy I'm missing to this. Because I never... I've tried long jumping before, and it's never really worked for me. Uh, there we go. Okay, okay, you got me. Here, take this. Boing. I was going to say, I thought the star appeared here, so... Yeah, that was my plan all along, guys. You got a star! Yeah. Now, 36. I'm starting to wonder if I'm gonna get 7 again. We got about 7 minutes left, so... I don't know. It's... It's possible. I'm not. I don't think I. I don't think I can get eight for sure. The dirty tricks of Major Burrows. Another boss fight. Nothing compared to Bouldergeist, but a boss fight nonetheless. So, in an attempt to get seven stars, let's make our way there as quickly as we can. I'll try to let you all hear the music this time. We'll see. Here. There it is. Is there a third one or something?
Oh, yeah, there it is. There he is. Anyway, the music is looped, so I think you all got to hear it. So that's excellent. It is some nice music. Whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't even know. Okay. For some reason, I thought I had to do that to survive. But I don't, so it's, it's cool, it's cool. Not gonna worry about the Wiggler, even though you can get tons of star bits for doing that. Yeah, I was really scared there for a minute. I thought I had to grab the pole stars to survive, because that's where you're supposed to go, but no. Nah. I guess that's just some bonus area that we don't need to worry about. So in case you haven't figured it out, we're hitting the stumps and the apples to make this worm can go out to the next one so we can make our way over there. Come on, come on. Here we go. That's not the right one. Oh, could just be up here. We could make it up there, but I don't... I don't want to try it. Just do it the regular way. Okay, that's not it. That's not... Oh, we're just making enemies come everywhere. Except they can't hurt you. They're... Well, they can, but they don't want to. They're afraid. Okay, there's the boss place over there. What's this point of four? Just stuff. Oh, life stream. I wouldn't mind having that. You know, just because. I shouldn't need it. But, you know, it hurts to be safe. Whoa. Did I forget how to... Yeah, I think, I think I forgot how to do this. I remember now, so it's fun. There we go. I tried to do that before. It's a good thing I got that life shroom, or else I'd be on one health right now. It never hurts to be safe. So let's wait for him to pop out of the ground. Where is he? There he is. One more hit should do it. So he's gonna be really fast this time. Knocks back. Gets angry again. And we got him. You got a star! Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start the next mission. Because time limit's not up yet. I don't mind going over just a bit. What's, my videos have been like consistently been around 32 minutes. So, I think that's pretty much on time. So let's see if I can get this last one, if I can, we'll just end it off with six that I have. Gusty Garden's Gravity Scramble. Alright, there's something I'm going to try because the secret mission is actually located in here. And if I could activate that one now, I will do that one first. Because it's not really hard to get it, but it's very easy to not get. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but I stand by it. So what you want to try to do is get all these uh, gold coins. So that's four. If you get this last one up here, and all these star bits up here, and at the end here, 
is a rainbow star. Okay, let's try that again. At the end here is a rainbow star. If you did not get all five of those gold coins, you would not get the star bits and the rainbow star. So what you want to do is you want to go with your rainbow star and go all the way to the end here and hit this golden chomp. And within it is a star. Without the rainbow star, you would not be able to kill it and thus not be able to complete this mission. So, that's going to be it for this episode. In the next part, I will be doing the regular mission that we were supposed to do there. And see if I can get more than seven stars and not do that for the fifth time in a row. But anyway, this has been Mr. DJ Song Puppet, and I will see you all next time. Also, DJ Hero Expert playthroughs coming soon.